people of the world, it's Santino0413 here, and, or Santino, that's my real name, and today I thought I had to make this video because I feel extremely stupid because in my Minecraft server and Minecraft bucket video, uh, how I showed you to port forward was completely incorrect because whenever I tried to get my friends to join my server, the port forwarding wouldn't work, and I had to do so much research, you guys wouldn't even know. And so I did find a problem with what I did, and I'll show you that here. So what I want you to do first is hit uh, Windows and R and go to your CMD, type ipconfig and put slash all right after it, and then right click on your internet icon and go to in open in a network and sharing center, and then go to change adapter settings, and then click on the uh, your internet. And then here, go to properties, and then look for the internet protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4, and then hit properties. And here, you want to make any IP, just type in a random IP as I did. So I typed in 192.168.1.187, and whenever you click on the subnet mask, it'll automatically put itself there. And you want to copy your default gateway into here, and you want to look for your DNS server IP. So just go back to the uh, command prompt, and then look for a DNS. Right here it says DNS servers 192.168.1.1, and I'll get back to you. Alright, sorry about that brief interruption. So what I was saying is you want to find your DNS servers and copy 192.168.1.1 into your alternate in, or into your preferred DNS. Uh, I figured out that I do not have a uh, alternate DNS, so just type in. If if you're the same way as me, just type in your first one, and you're all good to go. Click OK, click close, click close again, and then hit X and X again. And there you have it. There's your static IP. And now I'll show you how to port forward with your static IP. So here we go. So open your internet browser and then go to 192.168.1.1 or your default gateway browser um, and then go to your device and again to go to the port forwarding and uh, I already have a rule here so I'm just going to delete that and do a create uh, new port mapping and this is what you want to do. You want to make sure that you have enable on your um, on your rule, make sure that the services are all off. Set the protocol to TCP-UDP, set the remote host to nothing, so it's N any, and then set the external and internal ports to your port, as mine is uh, 36676 and 36676. And as you see, after you create your static IP, you'll see that your internal host has changed to your static IP, as mine is 192.168.1.187. And all you want to do is um, hit OK on your rule, and then, um, I'm not sure if your internet has the same, but this is how I double check to see that the port went through. I just go to the access control tab, and then go to port forwarding, and, say, and I see that um, my port mapping went directly right through, and it's the same thing, and it's my internal host, so everything is good there. So, yeah, that's good there. I'll show you... Uh, that it actually works now. So before you uh, use any internet checker tools, you want to start up your server before anything, or else the port checker will fail and you'll feel bad. So just uh, make sure that you start up your server, and then you'll be all Gucci. So in the meantime, while my server's starting up, uh, I'll have you go to canyouseeme.org. And here, this is a port checker tool. I'll show you also another port checker tool. Everything will be all Gucci, so let's see if my server's up. Uh, it's still starting, still starting. Uh, seeds, go away, everything go away. Everything, please, please. Okay, well, all right. So it started. Now, uh, all you gotta do is type in your port that you have, so mine is 36676, and I'll hit check port. So here it says success. I can see your service on public IP address and 36676, or your port. And now I'll have you go back to Google, and I want you to type in portcheck.tool.com, 
and here you want to type in your port, so minus 36676, and hit check your port, and there it says that um, it can see the service. And if these don't work while your server is up, what you got to do is go to your firewall, so look up Windows Firewall, go to Windows Firewall Advanced Security App, um, and go to Action, uh, and then go to Properties, and turn this off, but that's not the case for me. And uh, also, if it still doesn't work, make sure to go back to Firewall, and then choose Windows Firewall, not the with advanced security, um, and then make sure that click on turn windows firewall on or off and then turn both of these off so yeah i'll show you proof that my server works now so see you guys so hey guys welcome back and i'm into minecraft now and i'll show you that it works but i will show you if you're like me i'm not sure if you're like me but um if you type in your ip and then 36676 or your port it doesn't work but i found that really strange so all you gotta do is um like this you, if it doesn't work for you um and if, if it says success on the uh port checker tools that means that it's still a good port and this ip you give exactly to your friends but uh if you cannot connect to it all you gotta do is um put in your static IP address, so mine was yet again 192.168.1.187, and then my port was 36676. So yeah, uh, if that helps you at all, then I found it extremely weird, and I had trouble finding this until I stumb stumbled across a forums page, so yeah, um, that's all I've got for this video, so I'll go ahead and make my outro, so see you guys there.